Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play, a game made by BioWare and TSR in the year 2000, Icewind Dale, the spiritual successor to Baldur's Gate, in the sense that it was released after Baldur's Gate, before Baldur's Gate 2. This game is similar to Baldur's Gate, except that you, all characters have to be generated by the player itself. Let's create a game. Mercifully for you, I've avoided character gen generation, and I already have a party generated. It took me a while to get them going, let me tell you that. So a few things are different in this version. For a start, we're using advanced Dungeon Dragons. Prepare to be destroyed. Let's not pick women voices. Ha ha! Watch your back! To the pain. There we go. And basically, things are different and I will explain them as we go along. First thing I need to do is import my characters. That was Chiron Stormblade, my paladin. And this is my half-elf fighter druid. Attack! Who is a relation of Barry Coleman. I'm not having the original party from Temple of Elemental Evil, mainly because if I have them, um, that uh, basically if I have them, they uh, can't be here and at the Temple of Elemental Evil at the same time, can they? So we have Saracen Coleman, import party three, and this is the first woman of the team. There are actually three women in this team. And I think I called this one... What did I call her? I can't even remember what I called her. It was something cool. I've mind blotted. Fantastic. Uh, In fact, there's a way I can check. Must exit, must load. Because I have the party here. Alenja Turner. There we go. Yeah, I know. I, I, I have to import them again. Mainly because I forgot her name and it was quite a good one. Now I picked female again. To the pain. I don't want female, like, voiced men. It's kind of a bit weird. And vice versa. I don't want women characters who have burly men voices like, It could just be a bit weird. Attack! Next character is the cleric, well, the, the pure cleric. Attack, make peace with your gods. And then Angela, yes. Angela Turner. Right, next character. Poor character four. That would be our rogue! With the best rogue voice ever. Dash and slash. Anyone that says dash and slash when they're attacking is fantastic. No, 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 this is the elf, isn't it? Veltastri Fall is the name of her. Then we import character 5. He's the gnome! Yes, I actually have different races. I have a gnome cleric illusionist. And he is fantastic, and he has the best voice in the game. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. 
You can't have a character that doesn't have that voice. And his name is Davis Sandstar. And last, but by no means least, we're having party number six. Our Evoker. Our Evoker, who's a pure class magician. Where is the magician voice I want? Let me at him. I that one. I shall slay you all. That is it. So we have an Angela, we have a Felicity, and we'll have a Sandra. Sandra! Sandra Hilson. There you go. Right. Party's ready. Let's go. Our tale begins here. Here? In the quiet fishing village of East Hill. It's like a dump. One of the so-called ten towns of Icewind Dale. <laughs> Down. The tiny community is hardly a town. Exactly. But rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores. So a dive, basically. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table. That's us. Swapping tales and making grand plans for the like future. Like getting out of this town. Completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. That's convenient, because we are... well, we'll see. Hello! What's this? New face in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who might you be? A few points. Hillsfire is actually a different game in the D&D &D world, and it's a terrible one. And why would you pick here, of all places, as the place where you're going to live the rest of your life? It's a dive! Anyway, greetings, Othgar. My name is Chiron Stormblade. Well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. Mm -hmm. While you're in my town, you'd do well to be on your best behavior. Now, a good thing about this game is it's got a lot of voice acting, which is good. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. He's not kidding. Uh, Hothgar cannot be killed in this game. He has unlimited hit points. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. Uh, there's much better places, like getting the heck out of here. Uh, and if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. I was tempted in calling the gnome Quincy, but I thought against it. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door, at Pomab's Emporium. Uh, Pomab's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But you'd be better off well-equipped and short of coin than the other way around. True. Ill-prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Farewell. And as you can see, the graphics are much worse because this game was not released in the time of uh, the time of uh, Temple of Elemental Evil. And this is the first video, basically. Show you a few things. Armor class has worked out differently. A dexterity ten person has armor class of ten, and the more armor they get, the higher dexterity your armor goes down, which leaves you to explain Faco. To hit armor class zero. To hit armor class zero, Chiron would need to roll a twenty on a twenty-sided dice. So would he. So would everyone, pretty much. Luckily, we're not fighting anything that's level twenty right uh, uh, that has armor class zero just yet. And uh, saving throws are all there. Weapon proficiencies. It's all a bit weird. But uh, it's yes. it's just different. So when we come back, folks. We'll have more of this game. Till then, folks. Until then.